we're moving. I have to pack this entire house into boxes. Six years of memories. All into boxes to start fresh somewhere new. So if you haven't heard me mention on my channel before, we have been looking to move for a very long time and I actually said not long ago that we viewed a house. Now we didn't actually get the house that we viewed but all things happen for a reason because we viewed a couple more houses and the third one that we viewed was actually much more suitable and it was a fair chunk of money cheaper. So long story short, we need to move because we need to be closer to the hospital for this little lady. Excuse her hair by the way, I have not brushed it yet this morning and it's a little bit of a mess, isn't it? We need to be close to the hospital for Avery and the hospital in good traffic is a 30 minute drive away. Now in bad traffic, it can take us well over an hour just to get there and Avery does not travel well in the car. As a matter of fact, she gets herself so worked up that it becomes unsafe because she's an aspiration risk, which means I need somebody in the car to supervise Avery while I drive or drive while I supervise Avery. But the only people that can really help me with that, that kind of know Avery and her tendencies is Josh, my mom, and Josh's mom, I suppose. Now Josh's mom and dad, they live quite a fair way from us. So it's not really fair to ask them to come all the way here to then travel even further from where they live. My mum works full time and Josh works full time. So usually what happens is my mum has to take time out of work or Josh has to take time out of work and that just isn't sustainable because they've got to work too. So the only solution really is for us to be closer to the hospital. So that is why we're moving. Um, it's gonna cost us a lot more money um the houses near the hospital they cost a lot more money than what we're paying now but it is what it is needs must and another reason is that because avery doesn't travel well it leaves me quite housebound because at the moment we live in a village and this village isn't really close to many amenities but where we're moving to i can actually walk into the town center which means I will get some independence back. I can catch a bus to the hospital, which will be nice because no one has to take time out of work for Avery's hospital appointments. And obviously on a bus, I can take Avery out of her bush chair and settle her if she gets distressed. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a really good change. I have a lot to do. Um, as I am filming this, it is actually the 15th of December. So this video will be over a fair chunk of time. I just plan on kind of filming everything, kind of packing related, collating it into one video. And I'm not sure when you guys will see this, but I have a fair bit to do and it is terrible timing because it's over Christmas and I've obviously got to think about changing the boys' schools and the schools will close for two weeks tomorrow. So I'm a little bit stressed. And then along with all the packing, there's all the address changes, the normal things like utilities and stuff. And then I've also got to reach out to every single one of Avery's medical professionals and everyone that's involved with her and her equipment and make sure that is all set up and changed because we don't want to mess with that. That is important. So maybe this might be the start of a little moving series here on my channel. We are all very excited. We think this is gonna be a really a good thing for our family. We've been trying to do it for a really long time, but I'm not gonna lie, now that it's actually happening, I'm starting to get a little bit overwhelmed knowing how much we actually need to do before we move. So the next few weeks are certainly gonna be eventful. <laughs> So I think my plan of action is to work from top to bottom. And um, by that, I mean kind of like ceiling to floor. Um, so basically anything that's on the walls is gonna be purely decorative. So that can come down first. I ordered some wall filler on Amazon yesterday. So that should arrive today so I can patch up any holes and paint over them. I'm not actually sure if I have any white paint. I must have somewhere. Um, if not, I can grab some to touch up any of the white paint. 
um i've also got a few kind of little rental friendly diys that i did when i first moved in here kind of like stick on tiles and stuff like that that i need to remove and i've never done that before so i am a little bit apprehensive but hopefully it will all be fine i'm also very very aware that christmas is very soon obviously by the time you guys have seen this video Christmas would be well gone but for me Christmas is soon so I don't really want to touch the living room or kitchen just yet because I still want those areas to look nice for Christmas day for kind of cooking Christmas dinner and Christmas morning and stuff and as you guys will know by now Christmas is very very special for us this year because we are surprising the kids with something that we'll never be able to top we're never going to be able to top this Christmas so I just want it to look nice down there so I think I'm going to leave the majority of the living room, anything that can be seen anyway, and same with the kitchen. So it makes sense to kind of start in the bedrooms, I suppose. So in terms of the walls, I've just basically got a lot of pictures in here. I might also take my curtain rod with me just because I kind of like that. Avery's room, there's a little bit more to take down. She has some shelves, she has quite a few pictures up in here. And then I might leave her curtain rod, to be honest. Um, I don't think we'll have use for that in the new house the blinds i'm not sure and then also i need to take this down and fill the holes there as well and then the boys room there is quite a bit to be done in here in terms of the walls they obviously have their tv on the wall i'm pretty sure i still have the base for that so it could just go on that for the time being yeah lots and lots of pictures they also have shelves the curtain rail in here is actually um the houses the landlords this was here when we moved in so that will stay but there's a fair bit for me to be cracking on with I've just learned something really handy on YouTube on how to get wall plugs out of walls because there's a lot of wall plugs in this house. We've had shelves and all sorts up and if you leave the wall plug in and try and fill and paint over it, you're just never going to get a smooth wall again. But I found a little hack on YouTube and it's really, really good. So all you've got to do is just screw in the screw just a little bit, not too much, just so that it kind of bites onto it and then it pulls out now obviously that has damaged the wall pulling out a little bit but i can fill that and make it look smooth again really handy hack if you ask me So the majority of the things are off the wall upstairs anyway so the only thing that is left is the boys TV and if we still have the base then it's buried deep in the um, 
storage cupboards so i'm not taking that down just yet i've still got all of the stuff downstairs to take down anyway so it's not like i'll be putting the filler away anytime soon but now i need to fill everything so i've got this wall filler i just ordered it on amazon it had good reviews and it was really cheap so by the way if you notice that i keep switching from dressing gown to no dressing gown to different dressing gown it's because i am ill so I put my dressing gown on because I'm cold and then I start getting stuff done and then I turn into a bit of a hot sweaty mess. So I take the dressing gown off and then my body realises it's like minus three, minus four outside at the moment. So it is really, really cold, but I'm ill. So obviously my body's just struggling to regulate its temperature a little bit. Avery is also ill by the way, but thank goodness, touch word, I do not want to jinx anything. She is doing okay, she's not vomiting badly like she normally does when she's ill and she doesn't seem to be getting worse, fevers don't seem to be getting worse and she hasn't had any febrile convulsions so I'm really hoping that is the um, prophylactic antibiotic actually doing its job and keeping that illness from getting really bad and getting onto her lungs and stuff so I'm just really really happy that she's not too bad with it. So that's that job done. All of the holes in the walls are filled in. Obviously I still need to sand and paint over them. They're not gonna stay like this because that just looks really bad. In here is the same. All the holes are patched up, ready to be painted. Same in the hallway again. Like I said, I still need to sand and paint over all of this. And the boys room is all patched up as well. So I think that is me done for today. I think next I'm probably gonna start packing some of the decorative bits away. Um, I think once we actually start packing it might make doing kind of like the DIY bits easier because things won't be in the way and stuff. So I am gonna go and give Avery some cuddles. <laughs> Morning guys, it is another packing day today. Excuse my pyjamas, I promise you the rest of my YouTube life will not be me slobbing around in my pyjamas. I will at some point start putting on normal clothes and I swear I do wear normal clothes, it's just today is not that day. It is the 27th of December so Christmas has been and gone, we are smack bang in the middle of Christmas and New Year. Christmas was amazing, I had so much fun, the boys had so much fun and I'm just so happy with how it all went. However, I am also glad it's out of the way because now I really need to start packing. We have less than three weeks until we move. From the last footage you saw really, all I did between then and now was rip up the stick on tile in the downstairs toilet. That is something I did myself to cover the floor that was here. And obviously this is a rented property, so I needed to find a way that I could put it back to its original tile, if you know what I mean. So it came up quite well. It was a bit tough to get off the sticky residue underneath, but it was fine and I liked the look of it while I had it. So I definitely recommend stick on tiles if you don't like the floor in your rental accommodation. Anyway, my main plan for today really is to get the Christmas decks down. I wish I could say this isn't normal for me and it's just because we're moving, but honestly, I always get my decks down early. I like to put them up way early and I like to get them down shortly after Christmas. So that is my plan for today. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more room to work with once they're gone. I am currently working in the boys' room because I am selling this unit. It just won't fit in the new house, I don't think. So I'm trying to clear all the toys, get the majority of them packed away, and I need to get the tree down. So I'm already feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I think the first step really is to get the boxes out of the garage that I store all the Christmas stuff in and <laughs> go from there.
Morning guys, it is the next day. Sorry, I have been a terrible vlogger this entire moving process, but I'm sure you can understand. Moving is a bit of a faff. It's hard work. Well, it's not hard work, it's just a lot of work. So managed to get quite a lot done yesterday, which is why I didn't end up picking up the camera much. I just wanted to crack on and get things done. The shoe unit is now gone. We just have a box full of shoes. I sold that yesterday. The decks are all down. Josh did give me a hand with the decorations yesterday, so we managed to get that done a lot quicker. And then the rest of the day, I was just packing basically. And it's a bit annoying because obviously everything that I'm hacking is stuff that's either in some kind of storage solution like in cabinets or drawers or something or things that are on the walls so you don't feel really like you're condensing much but you're gaining a lot of boxes in the house so it kind of just feels like I'm not making any progress but I know I am there's still quite a lot to be done Josh is still home for the rest of this week he doesn't go back until the new year which is handy um, yesterday I pulled all the pictures off of the walls in the living room as well and filled in the holes. The only thing that's left on my wall is the hoover, um, just because I want to keep that there a bit longer just to avoid it getting damaged because as you guys know it's a new hoover so I don't want that broken. Also the boys TV is still on their wall that needs to come down so I can fill those holes as well. I managed to cut myself with a picture hook and it is very very sore as you can well. You can kind of see it is a little bit red. Um, I caught it right in my cuticle and it's very, very sore. It's gone a bit red and swollen and I'm hoping that is just because I stabbed myself in the cuticle and not because it's infected because that would suck. So I'm just gonna keep sanitizing that and hope that it's all right. Christmas tree is also gone, which is nice because it gives us a bit of extra room for boxes obviously these are the boys suitcases they got for christmas they are jam-packed with clothes um zach also got a skateboard from his auntie for christmas I forgot to show you that in my what we got for christmas video but it's pretty cool it's like a um coloring in one his auntie bought it from his dad's side of the family so that is pretty cool this i'm not gonna lie it's just been a bit of an ugly decoration the last week just because of christmas i've not wanted to stress avery out too much i wanted it all to be pre uh, precious <laughs> enjoyable that is the word i was going for for her as well boys are starting to drive me insane i am not gonna lie because they keep fighting they have been fighting like cat and dog the entire christmas holidays which has been fun little lady is doing just fine aren't you pudding it's still quite early in the morning i'm just up with the kids josh is still in bed she's just waiting to have her feet <laughs> She's all dressed already this morning though because she leaked through last night, didn't you, Puddin? You were a little bit wet, so we got you dressed. I promise I will get dressed today. I'm gonna wait till Josh gets up and then I'm gonna wash and get into some clothes because I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel a little bit gross after being in my pajamas all day yesterday, but it is nice, it's comfy, and we're not going anywhere, but I think I think I need to stop looking like a slob now. I know you've not seen her much this video, but rest assured she is always there in the background, aren't you, Puds? Like I said, Josh is home, so he spends a lot of time with her while I crack on with things, which is very, very handy, isn't it, Puds? Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Oh, the nice smiley. Oh, you're looking at your brothers. You're looking at you telling him off. Say, so stop fighting. Oh. Stop fighting. Anyway, the plan for today is basically just to carry on. Um, we got all the suitcases out yesterday because we wanted to do a bit of a trial run in the car for our trip in April, just because we have a lot of children, a lot of suitcases. We wanted to make sure everything was gonna fit and it's gonna be quite tight, but we might just about manage it. Um, so I might fill those with clothes, get some clothes out the way. Um, the boys' blue wall in their room, I'm sure you guys have seen it. That needs to be painted back to white, so that's another job I need to do. I've still got to strip the stick-on tile in the kitchen. There's still quite a lot to be done. But we're fine, we still have between two and three weeks, so we've still got plenty of time. This is the stick on tile that I was talking about. I put this on pretty much just after I moved in, just because I did not like the tile 
that was underneath it. It was like a farmhouse style. So I replaced it with this. And considering I've been here for six years, it has held up pretty well, to be fair. I've been very, very impressed with it. I suppose the challenge and the test really is going to be how it comes off. I've done a little kind of practice peel over here. I kind of started to peel this off just to see how easy it comes off. Hopefully it will come off okay. It should be fine. I mean, it's, it's designed to come on and go off, but this is a great um, solution if you're renting a property and you don't like your backsplash. This stuff works really, really well. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Amazon, but it was years and years ago, guys. It did cost me a fair bit to do the whole kitchen. It cost me about £200, but I mean, it is quite a big kitchen, but it held up really, really well. So I've been impressed with it. I think I'm going to make a start on painting this wall. Luckily, it's just the one wall, so better than being the entire room. I did already give this a quick coat. This was just me trying to clean the brush off when I had to um, patch over some other white bits and it's kind of showing me it's going to need a lot of coat. Well that is coat one done. I will say I think it's definitely going to need three, maybe even four coats. So that's not good, but I'm just going to let this dry up a little bit. Pain in the backside, isn't it? But that is what you get for wanting to make your house a little bit more personalised if it's rented. But I mean, who, who doesn't paint a rented property? Unless obviously it's painted to your exact taste the new house is all whitewashed at the moment which is fine for now i can deal with that fine it's neutral white is fine so i don't need to worry about painting too much but if i feel like painting it i will but i know i will probably definitely stick to probably definitely definitely stick to more neutral colors in the next house just because this is a bit of a pain in the backside while the paint is drying i'm going to start packing clothes and uh, my theory is I'm going to pack all of the clothes that we need for our trip in one suitcase. Well, I say one suitcase. The boys' suitcases downstairs are full of everything we need for the trip. Clothes and stuff. And that way, I'll leave them in the suitcase. I know I don't need to unpack them until closer to the trip to kind of repack them, I suppose. It's all summer clothes, so it's stuff that we're not really going to need. I cannot see it being hot enough for swim shorts and shorts and strappy tops and stuff like that before we go. Not here anyway, so I'm going to try and fit the rest in the smaller suitcase so that I can use the two bigger suitcases to pack our actual clothes. been painting again for the last hour or two i am two and a half coats in and i've run out of paint so i obviously can't finish this little project until i get more so i'm just gonna leave this to dry i think it's gonna end up needing four coats in total it's obviously such a dark color that i'm trying to go over with white so yeah i'm definitely tired now and no joke, I have calluses on my hands from the roller, so. This really, apart from peeling off the stick-on tile in the kitchen, is the last big job, I suppose. And then it's mostly just packing, so I just need to get this finished. Morning, guys. Uh, I haven't actually picked up the camera for this particular vlog for a good few days now. To be honest, I've just been cracking on with the packing and I feel like if I just show you 30 minutes of me packing, it might be quite boring and repetitive. So I think I've made some progress. A lot of the stuff is packed up. The kitchen is still pretty much untouched. The new school term starts tomorrow. Well, technically it starts today, but the boys had an inset day today. So the boys go back to school tomorrow and I feel like the next hurdle is sorting out the school. So the process was different for Zach and Eli because Zach's got an EHCP so I had to make a phone call to a particular department to apply for a school for Zach 
and then for Eli I had to go through the normal process which was an online application. There are a few schools in the area where we're moving to however the school that ideally I would like them to go to is actually opposite the house we are going to be living in, literally right opposite, like I can see the school from the front door which is really really good but I just don't know if they have any space. Um, I have also been told that it is quite a good school for additional needs. Now normally when you make an application the schools are allowed 15 working days to respond to the application basically and that puts us in a bit of a pickle because the Christmas holidays are not classed in those 15 working days so even though I made the application a month in advance really now I have less than two weeks for them to respond. Uh, I have obviously let them know that we are moving on a particular day and I really need them in a school by a particular day. Um, I did ask what happens if they don't get a placement by then and she said well the school place will still be open for them in the school that they're in now. However, I explained to her that that isn't an option for us because of Avery and the fact that I can't travel with her on my own and where we're moving to is actually a good 30 minutes without traffic from where we are now if that makes any sense but anyway um yeah I mentioned Avery and then she asked me if Avery had any HCP and I said not yet but we are in the process of it and then she asked is it Avery and I said yeah <laughs> like i hadn't mentioned her name at all and um she said well I'm actually Avery's caseworker so at least she knows my situation a little bit so hopefully she will be able to push that a little bit more fingers crossed I might hear something in the next few days I really really hope so because it is a bit nerve-wracking moving knowing that the boys don't actually have a school placement yet hopefully it will all be fine anyway I will show you the progress that I've made it's still quite early in the morning so it's quite dark outside. Suitcases are all jam-packed full of clothes. The wardrobes are mostly empty. Um, Josh's clothes are still in there. They've not been packed yet. These are the clothes that I've pretty much left myself out for the next couple of weeks. This one, the clothes are gone. I mean, they're not actually empty. There's still quite a lot of junk I've got to go through. Boys' room is all mostly packed up. There are still a few bits left out, like the TV is still on the wall. That still has to come down, but mostly it is all packed up. And the wall is painted. Josh has a load of stuff here packed up. He likes to prep. I think I've mentioned that in a video before. He likes to save things back just in case anything ever happened where we struggled to find things. So that's kind of his hobby. I leave him to it. And then we have this pile of stuff here as well as the boys countdown for Orlando which they have been crossing off. But that is where we're at. And we have an Avery. Hello gorgeous girly. Hello gorgeous girly. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's just letting her feed settle for a little bit. And you puts. Hey? <laughs> Gorgeous girl. I did find out that Avery's physio is arranging for all of her bigger equipment to be moved for us, which is quite handy because we don't have to worry about them getting damaged in transit. The right people are going to be moving them for us, which is good. And today, I think I want to start tackling one of the areas I've been avoiding. This is our kind of over the stairs cupboard, our storage cupboard. And this is basically where I shove all of life's bad decisions and shut the door. It is jam packed full of God knows what. There's so much junk in here and I mean, luckily it's semi organized. It's an organized mess. So a lot of it is already in boxes that are designated for that particular thing. Like I've got a lot of kind of birthday decorations and stuff in there. All of the boys swimming stuff is in there like inflatables and whatnot. I've got tools down here. This is essentially our filing cabinet. Um, I've got some paperwork downstairs that needs to be put away as well. This is Avery's folder by the way, if you guys haven't seen it yet, compared to all the others. Like this is, I think this one here is Zach's folder full of all his medical documents. This one is Avery's and it is nearly full, but yeah. I need to tackle this today and I feel like I will feel much better once it's done. Oh. 
I think that is where I'm going to leave it for today. I definitely think I have made progress, which is good. That is my wedding dress back there. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing with that, but obviously for now, we'll just be coming with us and the towels can stay there for now. Our bedroom and the living room though are getting progressively messier and messier just because we're filling in with boxes and stuff, but just gotta live like it for a couple more weeks and then possibly a couple more weeks after that because I very much doubt I'm gonna be able to unpack as quickly as I did in this house because I have little lady to see to. Speaking of little lady, I'm gonna go and get her dressed now because we have to pop to the shop. But I'm gonna close this vlog off here. The next little episode in this moving series will probably be when we're actually moving. So that's exciting. I am still very, very nervous just because there's still so, so much to do. But I hope you enjoyed packing up the house with me and please pray for me that the move all goes well because by the next time you actually see another moving vlog, we would have already moved so please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to follow us along on our journey and with that said i will see you in a few days with another video bye guys